So now we have discussed regarding defibrillator. So the next thing that I will like to discuss is something called as an AED that is called as an automated external defibrillator. So when you go to the busy places like an airport or railway station or to a mall, you will be able to see something called as an heart revival machine. It will be of different names in different areas. But uh, what is the uh, real name of it is an AED that is called as an automated external defibrillator. So it is basically uh, ideally meant to be used by a lay person. It doesn't need to be a medical background. Any lay person can and use an AED. So AED has got certain parts. So AED, how to use an AED? It's pretty very simple. How to use an AED? So this is an AED device. What I have shown here. So again, you need to open it. So again, once you open it, you have got a screen like this here. It will be the standard format for all the AEDs. There will be a screen here. There will be a switch on and switch off button, and there will be a button to deliver the shock, and there will be a uh, area where you need to pin the connector. So these are the different parts of your AED. So you have to switch on the AED. It will be have an on off area. You will have an area where to deliver the shock and where to need to connect the paddles. So again, the paddles that you need to be using here is similarly what I have showed in the last video for your, uh, you have to use an adhesive paddles. It will be available with an AED. Again, you need to use one it over the right side of your just one you need to apply it like this and the other one should be over the right side so these are the paddles that you need to connect so uh, that is how the paddle connection is even if for defibrillator purpose it is the same so once you have connected the paddles what you can do you can switch on the AD so let's see what it's saying apply pads to patients bare chest so it is telling us to apply plug pads to patients connector. bare chest next that we have done light. now this is the plug-in pad connector to the patients uh, to the flashing light you can see a flashing light here so you need to connect the connector apply here pads. so once the plug connector is connected is connected the machine will detect since it's a mannequin it will not detect any rhythm so the machine will automatically detect what is the rhythm what to be done next so the problem with the lay person is that they can't recognize whether it's a shockable or a non-shockable rhythm. So VT and VF, we will not be able to recognize by a lay person. So what does the machine does? The machine recognize that whether it is a shockable or a non-shockable rhythm. And depending upon that, the machine will give you an advice. Okay, it's a shockable rhythm. You need to deliver shock or it is not a shockable rhythm, continue CPR. So once the machine says to continue CPR, you just continue the CPR. Once the machine says to deliver the shock, the machine will say clear. So again, what I told in defibrillator, all should be clear. Nobody should be touching the patient and you need to press the shock button. So once the shock button is done and you need to deliver the shock before that, again, similarly in defibrillator, you have to make sure that no one else is touching the patient and everybody is clear and you need to deliver the shock and continue the CPR. So what you have learned here, it is how to use an AED. So AED, as I told, it has got you will have different types of AED. It will basic parts of an AED. You will have a switch on and a switch off button. You have a display screen. What, what is happening? Everything will be there. And there will be an area where to deliver the shock. This is a shock button. It is given in the, with the temple. And you have uh, a flashing light where you need to connect the connector here. And you need to have two paddles like this. Where one over the right side of the chest, left side of the chest, we need to attach. And once the, it is attached, you switch on the machine. You just wait for the prompt from the machine. The machine will say advance to the next step that is a recognized uh, rhythm to continue CPR, whether to deliver shock, everything will be told by the machine. So we just need to hear and do the instructions as per the machine's advice. So that is called as an automated external defibrillator. There is no confusion. So this is basically not fun for medical people. It is basically meant for a lay person who doesn't know anything. It is pretty simple. You just take it out, switch on the machine, hear to the instructions, Apply paddles. If it is a shock of rhythm, that is a point that you need to be very careful. No one else should be touching the patient. That part you need to have a training. So that is regarding your uh, use of AED. Thank you.